Hello everyone! Today's video is one of those amazingly stupid ideas that's actually going to take me so long that I'm just going to start recording this one at night time instead of in the morning because I just don't think I'm going to have time. This is an idea that I have attempted before way back when, I think it was actually one of my very first videos. I did manage to complete it then, but that was before I used mods and I spent a ton of hours skipping through time to try and make this work. So if it isn't already obvious, today's video idea is turning the quarry into gems and ore only. So that means I've got to stop by from time to time, clear out all the useless rocks that are going to spawn. Eventually, over time, over many, many, probably decades, it's all going to turn into gems and ore. This quarry is obviously currently full because I'm on year 146 as it is, but it probably filled up on its initial fill up and didn't do anything since. It's just sat here filling with rocks. The first thing I want to determine is whether or not bombs blow up gems and ore. I don't believe they do unless that's changed. There's a copper here. Okay, it does blow up the ore. Maybe we'll do gems only then, just to make this a little bit faster. I think that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for gems only. Now, one downside I'm seeing of potentially using bombs is it hoes the ground. I'm not sure the rocks can respawn and hold ground. I'm not sure how long that hold ground is going to last here. It might last till tomorrow. It might potentially last a few days. I don't think that's going to be too much of a factor because I'm basically going to be stopping in to check about once a year to clear out all the rocks. Which isn't going to involve anything more than a few bombs strategically placed all over the place. They don't have any effect on the gems, so it's no worry. Wood can spawn here, stones can spawn here, obviously they're quite common. It's the gems that are going to be hard to make happen. I believe diamonds are something like 1 in 500, maybe even worse than that out here, I'm not really sure. At a glance, this seems to be about what I'd expect for spawn rates. There's all sorts of amethyst spawning because it's fairly common, not that valuable. There's one, uh, yellow one, that's not too uncommon. There's a jade, which is somewhere in the middle. An aquamarine, which is a little bit rare, and the rarest thing we have right now is a ruby. There's no diamonds out here, and there's none of those weird, I can't remember what they're called, that has a prismatic shard in them. But, unfortunately for me, I'm starting this idea fresh with zero things in the quarry, so I'm actually gonna get rid of all the gems. Then we're pretty much gonna start skipping time to see how many years this is gonna take. Anyone wanna take bets now? It's definitely gonna be a long, long, long time. Well over 20 years, I would imagine. I don't even remember how long the first time took me because I don't even want to go watch a video again because it just brings back bad memories. And you know what? I think I need a companion for this. So I'm going to choose... Shane. Good morning, Shane. Good news. I've really grown attached to Marnie's chickens. Well, hope you don't mind saying goodbye to them. Are we currently dating? Uh, where is Shane down the list? Uh, we must be. Oh yeah, we are dating. Okay, this is easy then. Shane, I feel like this is basically the only way you ever get married. There we go, three days from now, we'll have a nice interruption from my little scheme, but at least I don't have to do this alone. I can have a dumbass spouse to ignore for the first 25 years. Well, we might as well get this part over with three days. I, uh, thought the wedding should be grass-themed because I live on a farm. Alright, big guy, you hit the bar, I'll see you in a year. Oh, right. Since we already have one kid and I don't really want another because that's going to interrupt the whole skipping time process, I'm going to have to make Shane hate me. That way he doesn't want to have a kid with me. He'll want to leave, but he's not allowed. But at the very least, he won't get a kid. Down to eight hearts already, that should be sufficient enough hatred to avoid children. He can certainly take care of the one that does exist. Before I start skipping time, let's go see the effect of the quarry after three short days. The best ideas are the ones that get my horse stuck in a rock. Alright, four stones, six stones, seven stones. The stones actually come back really, really quickly. I don't know if they spread like other debris, it doesn't look like they do. Debris on your field works that if you have a rock or something spawn in there, another one is quite likely to spawn right beside it, so you want to keep it clean to avoid it spreading. I'm going to clear this once, and basically now I'm just going to go skip for an entire year. The horse can wait here and keep an eye on things. Like I said, the reason I couldn't really finish this idea before, despite the fact that I put a ton of hours into it, is that I didn't have a time skipper mod. Now I can just go skip one year, two years, up to three years at a time basically. It does go day by day by day, so it does take time, but I don't have to walk back and forth. Hit Y to select going to sleep. This is so much easier. I just select a year at a time, and I just sit back and wait until it's done. Still going to take about six minutes per year, roughly. So it's still going to take a while, but that's okay. That's why I'm starting at night, so I can do this all through the night and have it ready for the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been about a year already. Shane hasn't gotten out of bed yet. He's still drunk from the wedding. What is it? Make your own breakfast. Yeah, what else is new? One thing I'm really hoping for here is multiple gems per year. Even a one per year, this wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm hoping for a few gems per year. Now, even that isn't really as good as it sounds, because as soon as the quarry starts to fill up, say it was even 30% full of gems, well, if a gem tries to spawn, but tries to spawn where an existing gem already is, I'm not going to get any gems, potentially for a whole year. So the more I think about this idea, 
the stupider it gets. So I'm going to stop thinking about this idea and just do it. And yes, I can just warp around the map, but sometimes I like to walk and talk. Anyways, our quarry is looking a lot fuller than I thought it would be. We have an emerald, we have a diamond, so we're actually getting some pretty rare stuff already. That's at least two gems. Let's start bombing our way in. Please don't blow up the emerald. We're good. Uh, that's a third gem, so three gems per year. If we get three gems per year, we'll be doing pretty good. I'm not sure how it works. Like I said, I think there's about a 1 in 500 chance a diamond's going to spawn. I don't know if that means a 1 in 500 chance that a gem is going to be a diamond or just a 1 in 500 chance for a diamond. I suppose that doesn't really matter much. It's just a curiosity. Lots of ore is spawning too, but I think the ore is going to be too fast. So the diamond, the yellow topaz, the emerald, and the aquamarine. All right, that's not bad. If we get four gems a year, this actually won't be nearly as bad as I thought. I guess I need to remember though too, the last time I tried this idea, that was many versions ago of Stardew Valley. Even though it's only had a few updates, it's been years since I tried this idea, the spawn rates might have changed. Progress report, after two years, I don't know yet. I've actually got to move the rocks before I can really tell. Eight gems. Eight gems up from four. So we're getting on average four per year. I'm actually going to start skipping every 50 days as opposed to 100 to clear out all the rocks and to see if it makes a difference. It's actually almost filling up entirely. That's got to be getting in the way of some gems. So I'll see you in 50. By the way, I'm pretty busy with this one. If you could take yourself down to Mary Lewis's and just sign anything for me, that's okay. Do me a favor. When I pass away, use my desk to fertilize some corn for the hens. You want to feed the hens people. Have we not learned anything from history? Wow, 50 days just flies by. She ain't even gets out of bed. How many rocks spawn after 50 days? There's just no way to make that sound exciting. But it looks like we got a few new gems, so that's a good start. Not too many rocks, so I like the 50 day idea. I'm going to stick with this for quite a while. Already, we're up to 11 gems. Now we just got three in half a year, so I think clearing out the rocks is going to speed this up quite a bit. That way boost us up to six per year, which is considerable, maybe even more. Back again, one more time. This makes an even three years. I like how I can just walk right in here now. There's not rocks blocking the way. I finally got one of these, I can't remember what it's called, but they sometimes give you prismatic shards, I believe. Let's see if a bomb blows it up. Nope, that's technically a gem. At least because bombs don't blow it up. And I'm sticking with that because I want this thing to fill up sooner than later because I need to go to bed at some point. 16 gems, according to my half-ass counting. So clearing it out every 50 days actually makes a considerable difference. So if we're lucky now, we can get up to 10 gems per year, which would be huge. This thing will fill up in only like 50 years seem to have encountered a small issue with this idea. It's not letting me go to bed. Shane's allowed to stay in bed all day. Not me though. I'm not allowed to go to bed. No more skipping time. Well, okay, I guess this idea is over. Happy five year anniversary. And it's been approximately that. So let's take account of our gemstones. We're now looking at a total of 28 gemstones after approximately five years. 28 gemstones. The progress has sped up a bit. Luck does still have a considerable factor in this. And obviously the more gems that spawn, they're going to start running out of room for new gems to spawn. And obviously, as we get more gems spawning, that's going to start leaving less room for new gems to spawn, so the rate is going to slow down eventually. And by my rough estimate, there's about 500 spaces to fill, so we've done 30 things so far, 470 more to go, and it's been 5 years. So uh, yeah, a real good idea. It's officially been 10 of the best years of Shane's life. What do you think about that? What is it? I'm trying to sleep. He hasn't changed a bit. Now it appears I may have hit a slight roadblock in this idea. I need to do a quick count to be sure, but I think the gems may have slowed down substantially or even stopped altogether. For the past several counts, I've counted 48 gems, which is obviously still a lot of gems, but if they're not showing up anymore, then this idea has just ground to a complete halt. So now I've got to very carefully count all these. I counted 49 this time. Now I might be miscounting because I'm so tired and it's starting to get late. Or the gems actually have slowed down that much. Given that there's already this much space taken up, the rocks start to appear very quickly. That leaves very little room for more gems to actually show up. So I'm going to give this another full year. I'm going to go 50, then another 50, 100 days. See how many more gems show up. If we bump up to 50, 51, I know we're still going. If we hold 49, then this might be a wash. Just like that, today is a day of truth. Will this idea be pursued further? We'll find out shortly. 49 gems is the number to beat. 49 gems. That's what I counted last time. Hopefully we'll have more than that. We were getting about 10 per year before that and it's been a year since then. I honestly think this one right here is new so this might still have hope. Good news everyone. We have 53 gems today. We're getting about 4 per year now. 53 gems total. That is definitely considerably slower progress than I was hoping for already. 
But keep in mind, we've got over 50 gems. The quarry is about one sixth full. The rest of the rocks fill it up really quickly, so it doesn't give the gems a lot of chance to spawn. I might start doing 30 day intervals just to make them spawn a little more frequently, hopefully. This is what the quarry looks like after only 30 days now. It's still quite full, mostly because the gems never leave and the rocks spawn very quickly. Also, since we're now up to year 160, we've spent 14 years on this idea now. 14 years and a lot of hours, it's getting very late. So at this point, I need to clear the rocks, count the gems, and determine if this is worth continuing on or not. Last time I figured it was, but the rate of gems seemed to be slowing down a lot. So we might have tipped the scales, but let's find out. Wasting a couple more bombs? I think we actually started at a full stack, so that's almost as impressive as anything. 600 bombs. The best part is, I can't remember what I was at last count. 57? I'm gonna go with 57-ish. And we'll take an approximate guess from there. That was a few years ago too. We're up to about 66 gems now. 66. That's not too bad, considering last time we had 56, so I think we gained about 10 gems. But it's also been about 3 years since we last counted, so we're getting about 3 gems per year at this point. 3 gems per year is not really good enough. But let's give it one more. 30 days at a time, so I'll see you in 90 days. Well, it's been another however long it's been, let's tally up the results and see where we're at now. As you can tell, there are a lot of gems that have formed and shown up here over the many, many years. I haven't counted them yet, I just wanted to admire them first. 81 gems. That's the number we're sitting at in total. 81. They're definitely slowing down. We're all the way on year 163 now. And you know what? I just wouldn't feel good if we didn't run this idea for at least 20 years. Well, this is it. Summer, 20 years after this stupid idea started. We're gonna have some gems, we're gonna have quite a few of them. Let's get the rocks out of the way and see what we're left with. You know what? Now that I've cleared all the rocks, I don't want to pickaxe all the hoed spots to make it look nice, so I'm just gonna skip till tomorrow, then I'll automatically do it. I'll have four more rocks to clear, then we'll get a nice look. And there we have it, a nice unfiltered look. Except for this guy. And there we have it, a nice unfiltered look at 20 years worth of gems. Probably could have got a little more had I been clearing it out more frequently, started at 50 day intervals, moved it up to 30. It still worked out pretty good, was getting lots of gems, it's just naturally gonna slow down. 94. Approximately. That's about as good as my tired brain can calculate right now, because it's getting very late and I still have to edit this thing. About 94 gems, it's really a shame I didn't hit 100. But that means the quarry is almost a third full. Almost a third full. But the gem production is just slowing down that badly. Over the past several years, I've only gotten a few gems. And that rate is only going to get slower and slower because a lot of the space is already occupied by other gems. So 20 years of this idea is more than enough for me. So there's only one thing left to do is find out what 20 years of gems is worth. Now, I could have pushed this further to try and fill the entire thing still, but it took me 20 years to get not even a third of the way full. So 60 years would have been closer, but even then the rate is slowing down, like I said, because the space is already occupied. So it's getting harder and harder to get gems. So it would have taken well over 60 years to accomplish this. By my rough guesstimate, 100 years really wouldn't surprise me. 100 straight years of skipping time. I could do it. I just don't want to. I need this video out at some point. I can't work on it for the next three days straight. But hey, it was fun while it lasted. We got to marry Shane, so that's always a good thing. Now if you want to see what we happen to get out of all those gem nodes, we even have a prismatic shard. That's a really rare find. 23 diamonds, 24 rubies, 17 jades, 21 emeralds, 11 aquamarines, 20 amethysts, 13 topazes, 16 iridium. Kind of surprising, I kind of figured we'd have more amethysts than anything and very few diamonds, but they seem fairly evenly distributed. Keep in mind, I do have the gemologist perk, so I will often find two gems per node. That's why the numbers seem so high. I guess the concept of this video at this point really is, what is 20 years worth of gems in the quarry worth? Anyways, all jokes aside, let's throw everything into the bin. Tonight we'll see the value of it. Because I'm clearly so short on money these days. Shane, I'm using this money to fund your divorce. Thanks. Day 7 of summer, year 166. Total value, 52,612 gold. Is it worth it to grow gems in the quarry? Absolutely not. Fun is a hobby? Sure. Hit the damn like button. Bye.